All right, y'all, good morning. I'm really excited about today's video. The question is, do we still need strip surge protectors if we have whole home surge protection? So let's say you're a pro DIYer or you had a licensed electrician come in. They installed whole home surge protection back at your panel. You know, all right, we don't have to use the strips anymore, right? We are safe. Well, the answer is yes and no. The answer is yes, you are protected at the panel. You're protected from line surges, certain types of lightning strikes, pieces of equipment failing, causing other types of surges, and you're gonna be protected back there at the panel. But in my opinion, you still need to use strip surge protection, okay? And let's, first off, let's talk about the difference between a regular strip that gives you more outlets and a strip surge protector. So a regular strip that gives you more outlets or may give you some USB outlets is not gonna provide surge protection. You have to make sure that you're buying a surge protective strip, which is gonna offer you all of those same features of the first one, but it's also gonna give you protection against surge, you know, against surges. So uh, definitely you still want to, um, you know, give yourself that extra level of protection by providing strip surge protectors for your sensitive electronic equipment, like your computers, your TVs, and your, you know, game devices and different things like that. Also for your smartphones and tablets and things like that. I highly recommend still using your strip surge protectors. There's a couple of reasons. So you could get surges from other areas. And it's not just about it frying the piece of equipment because, you know, a high surge spike could fry your computer, you know, completely or just, you know, one thing that you don't think about you know, and that, that I've never thought about before is it not only could fry the device, but it shortens the lifespan of the device. Those devices are built for a constant 120 volts or whatever your, you know, uh, system voltage is in your area or your country. Here in the United States, it's 120 volts. So they're built for that constant 120. Now there is a range where they operate safely, but the lifespan is going to start to deteriorate for these electronics. So, you know, we want to have that just to protect ourselves from any type of surges, spikes, you know, and different things like that. And another reason that you want to still use strip search protection is that even though you've installed whole home search protection back at your panel, those devices do eventually fail if they have taken, you know, what we call the mother load of of the surge so just to give you a little background on a whole home surge protector back at your panel it's designed to take many small surges okay it's going to provide that super low impedance path to take many small surges and route that voltage in a different direction but if it takes the mother load of a surge it's going to fry the device you may never know that this happened because you had whole home surge protection you could have a large spike from the utility or certain types of lightning strikes, and it comes in, it fries the whole home surge protection, it saves your home, but you don't know that you have a bad device. And I don't know if you know, you, you need to go down and check your device often, maybe once a month, and make sure that the green lights or whatever indicator lights are on there um, you know, for your brand. So with that being said, you could have a fried whole home surge protector, not protector, sound like Sean Connery, a uh, fried whole home surge protector, not know it, and then not be protected at all. So you want to make sure that you're checking your whole home surge protector, making sure that it's still functioning properly. And it's still, I highly recommend for your sensitive electronic equipment using strip surge protection. 